the usual capital for a cafe with a dining setup is at least a million pesos. Or, siguro half a million kung small cafe setup lang with dine-in. Most especially if you would be renting out the place and building it really and designing the place from scratch. However, I have shared in this video here that there are actually small coffee business models that you can begin with, especially if you have less money for capital. So for today's video, I'm gonna dig deeper and really give you full details as in exactly what materials you would need and where you would buy them so you can start your own small coffee business with just 10,000 pesos. Now, itong 10,000 pesos puhunan that I'll be sharing you today is actually our The Mezzanine Cafe story nung pandemic. Alam naman natin, di ba, kung ano nangyari nung nag-start yung lockdown, lahat nag-close, no? No matter how you want to operate, bawal lumabas and walang customers. So, for us to survive, what we did was we scaled down and moved back and operated as a home-based cafe. And ito yung isha-share ko sa inyo today. So, get your pen and paper and let's start. So, this one would be a home-based coffee business. Anong advantage niya? You can operate at home. You don't have to rent out and pay for uh, rent every month. You don't have to do renovation and construction. You'd be able to skip that expensive part of starting a cafe. Another thing is you can operate that at your most convenient time and it's flexible. Kasi let's say meron kang full-time job, you can actually operate and sell after your office hours or you can also do it over the weekends. So you are your own boss. You decide for your own operating hours. Another thing, it's easy to begin with, the small capital lang and very timely din siya ngayon na uh, Christmas season. You can actually sell them as Christmas gift ideas. So what are the products for this type of coffee business? That would be coffee bags in form of drip coffee bags and coffee in tea bags. And also you can sell ready to drink coffee which would now be in the form of a cold brew. So for coffee bags, we usually sell coffee bags like this. So in drip bags and tea bags. So these are the things that you would need to invest when you want to have this type of small business. One is a coffee grinder, and then a sealer for the bags, and also a weighing scale. In the description box would be the links where you can buy them, specifically in Lazada. So for coffee grinder, it's around 2000 um, My estimates here already includes na the shipping cost, so more or less 2000 And this grinder is a burr type and also has calibrations. Sealer para masara natin yung drip bags with coffee grounds and then also weighing scale so let's start with drip coffee so a drip coffee looks like this one uh, wherein we just hang it lang sa mug no, and it's really easy for customers to enjoy coffee straight from the bean so the things that you would be needing would be coffee beans drip bag and then the packaging depending na sa iyo kung saan mo gustong ilagay yung mga drip bags yung iba they really buy the packaging like this one Yung iba naman, they just put it in a paper bag, an ordinary paper bag to save in the cost. Let's look in now into the cost to make initial production of 200 drip bags. Let's say, gusto mong gumawa muna ng 200 bags. So, you would be needing coffee beans at 2 kilograms at 700 pesos per kilo. Again, the links are in the description box where you can buy them at, the, at Lazada at these prices that I have mentioned here. So, 2 kilos kasi per drip bag, you would be putting in 10 grams of coffee grounds. And then, for the drip bag, it's also in the description box. It's at least 5 pesos each. So, let's say 5 times 200 pieces. And then, for packaging, let's say you would buy that same craft um, pack that would be at 3 pesos each. So, total cost of items would be 3,000 pesos to make 200 bags of drip coffee so the procedure in making it is you grind first all the coffee beans at medium grind again ha medium grind not fine or not coarse but medium and then you weigh 10 grams of coffee grounds and put it inside sa drip bag after nasa loob na yung grounds is the time you seal it para we can preserve the aroma and the freshness of the coffee grounds so, sample lang natin. Kunwari, we put in one pack of drip bag. Itong pack na yellow. Uh, naglagay tayo ng limang drip bags inside. So, how much is the cost for one pack? 
So, 5 drip bags, 5 pesos times 5, 25. 50 grams of coffee, again, kasi kailangan 10 grams per bag. And that would be around 35 pesos. And then, 1 packaging, which would be at 3 pesos. And then, let's say you would label them with stickers whatsoever, that's 2 pesos. So, total cost for 1 pack of drip bags with 5 bags inside would be 60 pesos. So, kunwari, benta mo siya at let's say 120 pesos per pack, no, and nakabenta ka ng 10 packs per day, you will get a 600 per day profit. Nasa bahay ka lang nagbibenta ng coffee bags. The next would be the coffee in tea bags. Basically, almost the same lang yung mga things that you would invest into. Kailangan mo ng, again, wing scale. You would need a grinder, no, for this type of um, product for coffee. However, ang kaibahan lang niya is instead of drip bag, you will be using a tea bag. So, yung coffee grounds, ipapasok natin sa tea bag. So, you will need coffee beans, tea bag, and again, the packaging. So, kunwari, uh, we would be needing uh, these things for an initial production of 200 bags. Again, the same din siya sa drip bag, you would need 10 grams per tea bag. So, if you'll prepare 200 coffee tea bags, that's 2 kilos at 700 pesos per kilo, still at 1.4. The tea bag naman, it's much more cheaper, or it's cheaper compared to uh, drip bag, kasi each niya is at 0.50 lang. So this is usually sold via the Lazada or online at 100 pieces each at around 50 pesos. So again, please check the description box for the links on where you can buy them. So it, let's say it's at 100 pesos for 200 pieces of tea bags. The same thing for the packaging, kung saan mo ilalagay yung mga tea bags, still at 3 pesos, total of 60. So, for you to make um, 200 bags no, of coffee in tea bags, you would need at around 1,560. So, for example, no, isang pack of tea bags is we put in 5, uh, isang pack of tea bags, we put in 5 tea bags inside. Meaning, sa loob ng isang yellow na to, Merong limang coffee in tea bags, no? So, five pieces inside. So, this would be five uh, bags. Sorry, hindi to drip. Dapat tea bag yan. <laughs> 0.50 times five, that's 2.5 pesos. 50 grams, the same. So, that's 35. Packaging at three. And then, sticker label at two. So, much cheaper yung cost to make one pack of tea bags with five coffee tea bags inside. It's at 42.5. Let's say, benta mo siya ng 110 per pack. Much cheaper also with drip coffee and you sell 10 packs per day, meron kang net na 675 per day. Kunwari ito ha, na nasa bahay ka lang, wala kang nirerentahan, at ikaw mismo gumagawa ng lahat. It's really easy just to prepare this type of product. You just have to ground the beans. I-measure mo lang talaga ng grounds. Ipasok mo sa loob ng bags. You seal it, and then you pack it. So, the total um, needed investment for this type of business that you just be selling coffee bags, equipment, a total of 29 that includes your grinder, your sealer, and then your weighing scale. Then, let's say you would invest muna in 200 drip bags, 3,000. 200 coffee and tea bags, 1,560. That's a total of 7,460. Much lower than our 10K. And you still have around 2,000 plus if you want to add more of your inventory. Now, for this type of business, no, sa coffee bags, know that you can actually mix and match. So, pwede yung gawin, gawa ka ng, let's say, gift set. So, isang pack ng drip, isang pack ng tea bag, tapos tagdagan mo ng mug, and then you sell it, let's say, at 300 or 400 plus as gift set. Diba? So, pwede po siya i-market na ganun. Or anything you want to add sa gift set that would be very um, useful sa customers nyo, go for it. And then, you can actually really sell this one as gift ideas for Christmas. Next naman, let's say cold brew in bottles. So again, I have posted already a video on how you can make cold brew the easiest way at home. Please watch that video here. Now, if you would really be making this one, in this video, I'll really get into details no, on the costing and the materials that you would need. So you would need to invest in cold brew bag pitcher. Pero if meron na kayong pitcher sa bahay, you can use it, of course. Coffee grinder and the wing scale. So itong coffee grinder and wing scale, it's the same thing that you used sa coffee bag business so you can actually have both the coffee bag and then the cold brew so pwede mo rin gawing gift set na merong coffee bags and then meron din cold brew diba 
And again, nasa description box sa baba where you can buy all these things at these prices. So a total tools to invest, you would just need 2,870. So let's say you'll prepare muna 100 bottles of cold brew. So you would need here 200, 2 kilos at 700 pesos per kilo. So that's 1,400 bottles, let's say at 20 pesos each. Up to you na. Um, the one I'm, I'm sending uh, below is a plastic bottle. If you want to use recycled bottles, up to you. No, there You could be as creative as you want with how you present your cold brew. So in the description box, there are uh, plastic bottles at 20 pesos each. You can refer to that. And then sticker packaging, let's say at 5 pesos per bottle. So a total now of 3,900 to make 100 bottles of cold brew. So let's say to make one cold brew bottle, let's say lagyan mo siya ng 200 ml cold brew sticker and then the bottle itself, it's at 39 pesos. Benta mo siya at 100 each and you sell 10 bottles a day, you get 610 pesos in profit. So again, up to you now, you can be as creative as you want. You can mix and match or you can have one set na merong cold brew, drip bag, and tea bags. Or you can also sell it separately. Another thing and another tip really is you might want to consider having uh, pre-selling. So, benta ka muna and then you take orders and then you let them um, pay you for down payment. Use that down payment to buy the materials you need to fulfill the order. So with that, hindi mo kailangan mag-shell out for the investment of your inventory, di ba? And then for your cold brew bottle business, you can also watch this video here. I shared how you can make cold brew at home with a inexpensive tool, no need for any machine or equipment, very cheap lang. So ito, maybe some of you, after sharing everything no, here, maybe some of you would think, I, I won't do that kasi I know na somebody who is also selling the coffee bags and also selling cold brew. Ayoko na siyang kompetensyahan. Gusto ko yung something very unique talaga as a business. Now, let me give to you as an example, Jollibee and McDonald's. Now, silang dalawa, Jollibee and McDo, they're selling a very common thing, which is fried chicken, di ba? And if you try to see where Jollibee and McDo are usually placed, pag may Jollibee always, few steps away lang meron McDo. So they are not afraid to compete with each other. Bakit? Kasi even if they're selling a very common thing, fried chicken, there are a lot of people who eat fried chicken. Ang daming market. There is already a ready market for chicken. And people eat at least three times a day, di ba? So think of your competition as a good business indicator. Meaning, pag meron ang bumibili, Meaning, merong market. So if you think now with this business, hindi ka kita, kasi you're just selling a very common thing, coffee, and marami kang competitors, just think about Jollibee and Makdo, who are gaining profit even if they are selling a very common thing and even if they are competing with each other. Kumikita sila even if they are just selling fried chicken and even if almost all the time magkatabi sila. So if you would have that reason and that excuse, ewan ko na lang. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you have some questions and if this video was helpful. Again, watch this video here for you to know how you can also make your own cold brew at home. And if you'll be making now your own home-based coffee business, please tag me here at Instagram at ma. I'll be glad to share your coffee business. Again, I'll see you in this next video. Bye!